Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how a sort program works and as well as how in which sequence control cards will get executed. As you are aware we can give more than one control card. If you give more than one control card in which sequence system will execute. First let us see how a sort program works. If we take a sort program it, it has input and output files. These files are present in DASD in physical storage. So it, the sort control cards don't work on the physical files directly. So what it does, it copies all the records from input file into a temporary or a work file. So you, see, you can see here, it copies all the records from input file, one or more input files if you concatenate data sets, to a temporary or a work file. So it will be stored in virtual memory. For this, lot of virtual storage will be required. It copies all the records from input to a temporary file. Then it applies control cards on the temporary file okay, in a sequence, in a predetermined sequence. In which sequence? This sequence. It is not going to work based on the sequence you gave the control card in the sysin parameter, sysin DD name. Okay, in, in sysin DD name you can give in any, any sequence. You can give include condition first followed by sort fields or sort fields first followed by include condition. Doesn't matter. Sequence doesn't matter. So this is a predetermined sequence for a sort program. Once each and every control card is applied, the final output of the temporary file will be copied to output file. And you can create one or more output files as you are aware. Okay, so most of the processing is happening in temporary file in virtual storage. Now let's see in which sequence control cards gets executed. So let's see the sequence of execution of control cards. First input file will be copied to a temporary file or a work file. Then a skip record or stop after will be executed. First skip rec, then stop after. Then if you have given include condition or omit condition, it is going to execute include condition or omit condition, which is used to filter the records. Then it is going to execute overlay, indirect fields or indirect overlay. So if you have conditional output, you can use indirect build. So this will be get, getting executed before sort fields. And after sort fields, some fields will get executed. Either some fields equal to none or some fields summing a numeric column. Then if you are creating a single output file, we'll be giving sort out DD name. In sort out DD, if you give sort out DD name, you can, it will execute either outrec overlay or outrec fields or outrec build. We can also create reports by giving outfill outrec. Okay, outfill outrec also can be given by for creating reports and we had header 1, header 2, etc. This is for creating reports out of sort program. If there are multiple output files, we give outfill files. Along with outfill files, we can give subparameters like outrec, include or omit, start rec, end rec. So this is a sequence, predetermined sequence in which sort program work. It is not going to be the sequence in which you give in Sysin control card. Hope you understood how a sort program works. A sort program will copy all data from input file to a temporary file, apply the control cards one by one in the sequence, predetermined sequence one by one, and then the final output from temporary file will be copied to one or more output files. Hope you understood how it works. Uh, thanks for watching this video.